back today uh, for the next P lesson. Today we're going to look at a little bit of football, but before that we're going to do a little bit of a warm-up slash workout. Again, I'm using the Year 6 children to demonstrate today, so please watch closely what they're doing, okay, and try and complete as much of it as you can. Okay, the first bit we're going to do today is a warm-up uh, slash circuit. So the boys are going to do three different exercises for 30 seconds work, and then they're going to get 30 seconds rest, and they're going to repeat that three times. Okay, the three exercises they're going to do is they're going to do star jumps, they're going to do sit-ups, and they're going to do squats. Okay, so you've got to try and complete as many reps as you can in 30 seconds. You then get 30 seconds rest, and then move on to the next exercise. Okay, and then once you've done all three exercises, you go back to the start again to complete three rounds of those. Okay, so the boys are going to do that now for me. Okay, I'll be timing it and just talking um, through it. Okay, and then we'll move on to some football. For the football, all you need is a ball of any shape, okay, that rolls along the floor. Okay, so it could be a dodgeball, a football, netball, basketball, whatever you want, because you're not going to be kicking the ball today. It's all about dribbling. Okay, so please get that prepared for afterwards. So... We're going to start now. So, boys, we're going to start off now with doing star jumps for 30 seconds for me. Okay, are you ready? 30 seconds star jumps, go. Keep going. Try and do as many as you can. Remember, you get 30 seconds rest at the end. Keep going. That's halfway. Going up halfway. Keep going. Good work. That's it. Keep going, keep going. Three, two, one, stop. So, good work, boys. 30 seconds of side up. You now got 30 seconds rest, and you're next going to do 30 seconds of sit ups. So, if you want to line your backs with me, boys. Okay, with your sit ups, you can do it in different ways. Okay, you can either lie down with your legs flat, or you can bend them. Okay, you can just, that's it. So, you just sit up and touch the top of your knees, or you can reach out and touch your toes. Okay, so it's up to you, boys. Okay? So we're going to start in five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. 30 seconds of sit up. Off you go. Sit like that. Up you go. So you can bend your knees flat. If you want to bend your knees, bend your knees. Keep going, boys. That's it. And then just sit up and try and touch your toes. Sit. Sit. So we've got Vlad doing it with bent knees. We've got Justice and Kamari doing it with straight legs. Okay, they're both working your abs, so it's absolutely fine which way you do it. Okay, you're going to try and do as many as you can. As you can see, the boys are taking their time. They're not rushing it. Okay, so it's all controlled. It's not a race. you just got to keep doing the steps for 30 seconds. And we've got three, two, one, and stop, boys. Well done, mate. Good work. So up and repeat again, boys. Okay, and this time we're going to do 30 seconds of squats. Okay, so a squat is you're going to just imagine that you're sitting down on a chair behind you. And you sit down on the chair and then you stand up. That's it. You don't need to go down as low as you can. Okay, so just imagine you're sitting on a chair and you're standing back up again. Okay, and we'll start in five seconds. Three, two, one, go. So go ahead. That's it. Good. Try and keep your feet shoulder width apart, okay, boys? That's it. That's it. Good. Just imagine you're sitting down on a chair and standing back up again. Excellent work. Keep going. Good. That's it. Keep going. Keep going. That's it. You ain't got a rush, just keep going, just try and do as many as you can without stopping for 30 seconds. Three, two, one, and stop. Well done. Okay, so that's one round complete. Okay, they've got another two more rounds to do before we move on to our football. Okay, so thank you. Well, you can walk around while you're waiting to stand so you can walk around and do Okay, so. Okay, so. Be ready to go again. Do you remember what the first one was? Yeah. What is it? Star jumps, well done. Okay, so you're going to start in three, two, one, go. 30 seconds, star jump again. Sit good, excellent. Good work, keep going. Okay, halfway, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Um, we'll go three, two, one, and stop. Well done, it's the way we've got 30 seconds left to get. Remember the next exercise? Sit up. Sit up, perfect. Okay, so remember, boys, if you have to need to keep your legs straight, or you can bend your knees like you did with Vlad. Okay, and you can literally sit in that, touching your toes, touching the top of your knees. That's the best 
play to do. Okay, and you've got 10 seconds till we start again. 30 seconds of sit-ups. And we'll start in three, two, one, go. 30 seconds, remember, don't rush. Just take your time. Okay, try and get as many sit-ups as you can done without rushing. Okay, it's all about control sit-ups, not rushing them. Good, good work. Excellent, keep going. So you're halfway through. Got just over 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent work, well, whatever. Up you get again. Do you remember the next exercise? What is it? Squats. Squats, yeah, again, squats. So just imagine we're sitting down in the chair again behind us. Okay, so you've got 20 seconds rest before we go again. Okay, you've got 10 seconds. Got four more rounds to do, four more exercises to do, then we go. Okay, so over halfway now. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one, 30 seconds of squats and sit again. Try and keep your feet flat on the floor if you can. Don't let your heels come up. And sit your feet flat, keep your feet flat on the floor. Remember, you haven't got to go down too low. Just imagine you're sitting on a chair and then you're standing back up again. So you're, you're, you're pushing back to sit down on the chair. Don't lean forward. Excellent, keep going, good work. And you've got five seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. 30 seconds rest again. You remember the first exercise? What is it? Start up, good. Okay, back start up. Three exercises left, got one minute, 30 seconds of work left, and you are done, boys. You've completed your warm up slash circuit. Okay, are we ready? We're going in 10 seconds. Okay, so let's see how many we can get done. Now, that's last round. Let's see if we can up the pace a little bit. Now, I know I said before we're going to do control. Let's see how many reps we can get done in that 30 seconds. So, as quick as you can now. 30 seconds, star jumps. Ready? Go. As quick as you can now. See how many you can get done in 30 seconds. Let's go. Keep control though, so still make sure you're doing a complete star jump. If you do over chase it and you get things wrong, you stop and start again. Keep going, keep going, just over halfway, keep going, as many as you can. Good work, got five seconds left, four, three, two, one, excellent work, well done, okay, so you've got 30 seconds rest, we're going to move on to sit up, again, 30 seconds sit up, now let's see how many we can get done, so try to up the pace of our sit ups now, okay, last round, so we're going to see how many we can get done. So you've got 10 seconds rest. And we're going to go. Okay, so remember again, legs straight or you can bend your knees. You've only got to try and touch your knees or your toes. But if you're doing straight legs, all the way up and touch your toes. Okay, makes it a little bit harder. Are you ready? Go. 30 seconds. How many can we get done now in 30 seconds? Good work, Jackie. Good, Kamari. Bob did straight legs, made them harder. Same as Vlad. Excellent work. Just under halfway. Okay, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Three, two, one, and stop. Well done, boys. Great effort. Okay, back up onto your feet again. Last exercise now. Just squats again. Okay, 30 seconds. Okay, see how many we can do again now for the last round. And you've got 10 seconds till we start on this last exercise. You ready? We'll start in five, four, three, two, one, go. So no squats in front of you. Keep trying to keep your feet flat on the floor tomorrow, okay? So we're going to lean back onto our heels. Don't want to pull your stomach off the floor. Okay, good. Okay, much better, good. Good, keep going, keep going. We've got 10 seconds left. 10 seconds and we're done. Excellent work. Good, good. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent work, boys. Good stuff. Well done. Okay, well done, guys, for completing that home. We're now going to move on to our football session now. 
So what you need is you need a ball. If you need to get yourselves a quick drink, please do so. Okay, and then stand in front with a ball at your feet. Okay, so boys, you can get your footballs for me. Okay, so with our football now, okay, all you're going to do in front of you, okay, is you're going to have the ball on the floor, okay, and you're going to see how many passes you can do to yourself, okay? So you're just going to use the inside of your foot, okay, and you're just going to push the ball over to your left foot, from your left foot to your right foot, and you're just going to go side to side, just pushing the ball across, okay, nice and controlled, okay, and you're going to see how many times you can pass the ball to yourself without losing control, okay? So let's see how the boys get on with this. Okay, so boys, you can go for me to just sort of pass balls yourself. Okay, so as you can see, they're looking at the ball and they're looking just to push the ball from their right foot to their left foot. Okay, nice and controlled, good. Okay, and they're just going to keep doing that. Okay, so they're showing they're in control of the ball, they're using both their strong foot and their weak foot. Okay, because we want to improve both feet when we're playing football, we don't want to just use one foot. Okay, excellent boys, stop there. So what you're going to do this time, boys, is you're now going to do something called toe taps. So you're going to have the ball in front of you, and instead of pushing the ball to left to right on your, with the inside of your feet, this time you're just going to touch the top of the ball with your toes. Okay, and boys, what I want you to do now is can you do 30 toe taps for me? Okay, that's it, good. So you're trying not to move the ball, you want to keep trying to keep the ball still in the control in front of you, and you're just gently touching the ball to improve your control of the ball. So you just want to touch the top of the ball. Good, once you've done 30, just stop. Okay, this time we'll make it a little bit difficult for you. Okay, so guys, this time what I would like you to do is with your ball, is you're going to do 10 passes to yourself, okay, from side to side. Okay, and then you're going to do 10 toe taps. Once you've done that, okay, you're going to do five passes to yourself and then five toe taps. So we're going to see if we can combine those two skills together. Okay, so you want to see if you can do that for me, boys. So you're going to do 10 passes side to side. Once you've done that, you're going to do 10 toe taps. Okay, then you're going to do five passes side to side. And then five toe taps. Excellent, keep control of the ball. Good. Okay, this time what we're going to do now, okay, is in your space that you've got at home, okay, I'd like you to go to one side of the your living room or your bedroom or your garden or your outside on the street where you're ever you're doing a session so boys you can just go over to that side of the hall for me okay this time what we're going to do is you're going to dribble out from one side of the room to the other when you get to the other side of the room okay what you're going to do is you're just going to turn and when we turn with the ball all you're going to do is you're going to put your foot on top of the ball okay you're going to turn face the other way and dribble back okay nice and easy control we're not looking to do this really fast Okay, I just want you to stay nice and, and controlled with the football. Okay, so boys, if you can do that for me, if you can dribble across. Okay, put your foot on top of it, and then just turn, and then go back the other way. Good. Okay, can we do that three more times for me? So, just dribbling across, or try, try and keep the ball nice, close, remember it's not a race. Okay, we're just keeping control of the ball. Okay, so two more times. Good. turn and then one more time for me boys just go to the other side and back again Sit, good control okay so as you can see the boys did that very well there okay but this time we're going to make it harder for them this time they are only going to go across one at a time okay and this time i'm just going to find something lying around luckily i've got some bibs lying around you might have some t-shirts some towels anything you want just put on the floor to make some obstacles Okay, so if we start up in the middle, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to place these bibs around the area. So this time the boys have to travel from one side of the room to the other, okay, without touching the bibs. So we're going to imagine these bibs are defenders now, okay? And what they're going to do is they're going to come to this side of the hall, okay, they're going to turn and they're going to go back again. So if we go, Justice, if you go first for me, okay, so Justice is going to dribble across now, but this time we can't just look at the ball, you've got to look up, see where... The bibs are on the defenders. He's going to turn and then he's going to go back in. So we've got to go in and out of the defenders now to get to the other side. Good. Tomorrow, do you want to have a go? Excellent. Good. So lots of little touches with the ball. Stand nice, control the ball. Staying away from the defenders, looking where they are. Good. And then, Vlad, do you want to have a go?
Okay, so if you are finding that easier, this is where you might need some help from someone at home. Okay, and this time, the person at home, I want them to hold some, uh, if I've got bibs, you might have t-shirts or towels. Okay, but this time, what you're gonna do is you're gonna ask someone at home to help you out. And as you're traveling across, okay, I'm gonna place the bibs down on the floor so the, the player has got to react to where the defenders will be. So instead of looking where it is, we're gonna make it a little bit harder. And I'm randomly just gonna throw things down on the floor so they've got to change directions quickly. Okay, so if Justice has a go now, okay, he's driven across. I might just place one there for him and then place one there to make it a little bit harder for him. Okay, good work, Justice. You want to make your way back again? Okay, so good. So I'm just making it harder, so he's got to change directions. Okay, he's got to look to see where the defenders are turning up. So, come on, come on, have a go. So, good change direction there. Good again, good control. Just wait there for me again. Okay, if you make your way back again. Good change direction there, well done. Okay, Vlad, do you want to have a go? Quick there, ball, went a little bit too quick there, keep control of the ball. Okay, don't rush. Okay, you want to look to see where the defender's going to turn up. Change direction, much better on the way back, good. Okay, so guys, you can do that a few times each, okay, and keep getting people to change where the defenders are so you can look where the space is and travel into the space. Okay, if you do find that too hard, okay, just go back to where the bibs or the towels or whatever you're using on the floor as defenders, okay, and just leave them there and practice, just keep changing direction, moving around while the defenders are still. Once you think you've got the confidence and you think you can dribble around a little bit more freely, get someone just to throw random defenders in so you've got to look and change directions and react. Okay, guys, good luck with that session today. Hopefully you enjoyed it, okay, and I'll see you again soon.